Hello everybody, today I'm gonna show you how to simulate an open form Carmen Vortex street and post process to results in part of you how to produce animations concerning this type of flow. So we have uh, the Carmen Vortex street is it looks like this. We have the flow here. We have uh, an initial velocity u0. So when the fluid hits the cylinder, the obstacle, uh, whatever, it could be step or whatever. So in this case, we have a cylinder. The flow takes the different shapes. Uh, depending on Reynolds number, we can get this shape, we can get the small vortices, or we can get the Carmen vortices trail like this. So in our case, we're gonna treat this geometry. We have the inlet and the outlet and the obstacle. So we will introduce our fluid, which is water. And we are gonna study its behavior when it gonna hit this cylinder. For the geometry, I'm gonna show you here our mesh so for the pre block is the first one here the obstacle blocks it's two three four and five and the post block is the last one and for the uh, division of each block for this block is 60 and x axis and 90 and y axis for the blocks 2, 3, 4 and, f and 5 it's 90 in x axis and 90 in y axis for the block 6 it's one, 180 uh, 90 in the y axis so just to show you the mesh in details using Parafilm before uh, running the simulation. So let's close this. So as you can see, it's very fine. It's very fine. You can use coarser mesh if you want to. You, you will have practically uh, the same results with only small differences. I choose this configuration in my case. So here you can see clearly the separation of the blocks. So here we have 60 or 90 I guess. Oh it's 90 yeah. So we have 90 division here with 90 division here. So we will get the mesh really fine near the cylinder so we can catch every behavior of the fluid uh, near the cylinder. So now for the physical parameters we have the character characteristic length. In our case it's the obstacle diameter which is 0 0.05 meter our fluid which is water the kinematic viscosity of water it is known it's 1.10 minus 6 cubic meter per second for Reynolds number we're gonna test uh, values different values of Reynolds number so in your case you can choose whatever Reynolds number is so you can choose the value you want to test so for the inlet velocity, the inlet here, the initial velocity of, of the fluid, it's calculated using Reynolds number. It's U point L, the obstacle diameter, divided by mu. If Reynolds number is uh, 400, so the, the U will be uh, this value. So let's start now the simulation. So, in the file U, 
we will specify the velocity, the inlet velocity. Here, we, uh, I will start with this value. It represents Reynolds equal to 10. If you apply this correlation, you will get this value of mu, of u, the velocity. So for the pressure, we, ha we don't have to to precise any pressure, it's a zero gradient in all the in all the boundary condition. So for the transport properties, we need to specify that it's Newtonian fluid, then the mu of water from here. In turbulence properties, we need to specify that is laminar, because we have Reynolds uh, Reynolds equal to ten, so it's laminar flow. Then in system, we have the solver, we choose simple form. It's steady state solver, incompressible for incompressible flows. And we will run it for uh, one, uh, for 10, 10,000 iterations. So, And here we go. We're gonna take time. I'm gonna stop it. You can continue if you want. I because I have all the simulation already calculated here for the Reynolds equal to ten. I'm gonna show you what I had. So you just to change the color and here we are. We have the velocity here, it's an established flow, then the flow, the fluid hits the cylinder and it goes by the two sides. The velocity is maximal here. It continues to be maximal till here. It becomes homogeneous with in all this part. But we have this in this near the walls in this zones here and here. We have the velocity near to zero because uh, the initial velocity is very low. So the fluid, the water, tends to adhere to the uh, to to the wall. Here also, since the velocity is very uh, is very small, we have this behavior. So it's like the uh, the water tends to adhere to the obstacle. This is the first Reynolds number. Let's now get to a bigger Reynolds number. Let's test Reynolds equal to 100. So for Reynolds equal to 100, you can see that in these zones, at first, in these zones near the walls, we have this zone is smaller than here for Reynolds equal to 10 because the velocity is much bigger, so the fluid goes faster. It hits this, the obstacle, then goes around here and here. Here, after the uh, after the cylinder, we still have this velocity really small near here, forming this. So, what if we test the biggest Reynolds number that I test? I tested already, it's uh, 800.
So here we start getting the vortex here, the effect of this vortices. So after the uh, after hitting the cylinder, we start getting vortices with our maximal value that we tested. So we can see clearly that we have here a small, really small zone with a small velocity compared to other Reynolds number. Here when the flow hits the cylinder it goes, then after the cylinder we have formation of vortices. You can see it here using this animation so this is how the fluid reacts after hitting this obstacle so I will try to open the other files here I'll divide the view so I'll show this here just to have an idea about the difference I need just to rescale this because this is the problem here. So I need to rescale it, yes. So now it's okay. So if you can see here, we can compare it clearly. We have the velocity in near the walls here it's a small zone here we have a bigger zone here we have this the, the biggest velocity is when it hits the cylinder and goes around from the top and the bottom here it's a uh, kind of distributed with the flow it continues being maximal here we have just this zone this form with a small velocity here we have like vortices that, that are keeping the same shape of the minimal velocity. We can save animation. Save uh, animation here. Let's call it A. Just one by one. Okay. We can save animation from here. Save animation A. And a rate. I'm gonna choose three uh, uh, to record the solution every three frames just to get a uh, faster animation with weight background and hit ok then we have to wait so now it's ready we can go see it here animation so it illustrates the movement of the fluid when hitting the cylinder here.
so for gain more and more vortices after the cylinder you can just increase the Reynolds number to get more vortices so the flow when it collides when it hits the cylinder it's disintegrated and it uh, allows the formation of more vortices and this is the uh, the, the behavior that describes Carmen vortex street so this is all for this video thank you for your attention and see you soon in other videos bye